welcome to the channel. Standing almost 800 feet up at the head of the Longdendale Valley, with fewer than 40 people living within a four-mile radius, this must be one of the most desolate chapels in the country. It may already be well over 500 years old, since 1487 is usually given as its foundation date. Sir Edmund Shah, Lord Mayor of London, left money in that year to pay for a priest, quote, in a chapel that I have made in Longdendale, who would sing his mass and say divine service forevermore. Local rumor suggests that the 15th century building, probably wooden, was at Robin Imeus, about three quarters of a mile further up the valley by the River Ethero. The dedication seems to have changed from the Blessed Virgin to St. James some time later, which might imply a new building. There are no graves before mid-18th century in the present graveyard. Some of the railway navvies who died during the construction of the Woodhead Tunnel are buried in St. James Churchyard, but the field behind the church has been left bare. For more than 100 years there have been rumors that some of the tunnel workers and their families, who were Roman Catholic and were not allowed to be buried in an Anglican churchyard, were buried behind St. James in the unconsecrated ground. Other rumors suggest the field was used to bury victims of cholera, which swept through the Saltersbrook site. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. See you on the next video.